Hi, I wanted to show you how we can use GeoGebra to graph trick functions. So right here, let me open this. This is the default window that I set up earlier. And we can just go directly to input. I can type in either y is equal to sine x, or maybe if you like f of x is equal to sine x. Both of them um, are the same. So if you just type that in, you get a usual sine curve. And this right here, the little f, represents the name of the function that we have. Anyways, let me just change this to make this prettier, so to make us happier. Double click on this, object property, and I'm going to change the, well, I think I'll just keep the color the same. But then let me just check that off. Okay, so I don't want to label. I will keep the color in black. And for the style, let me make the line, the curve thicker. So let's say seven. And notice that you can also change the curve to like dashed lines right here if you would like. But then it doesn't make sense in this situation. So this is the sign function. Um, if you go to text yourself, you can enter your own text. So click on this, f of x, and make sure you select LaTeX formula so you can get a nice um, like a math print for the equations. f of x equals to sine x, or maybe a parenthesis sine of x, like that. Okay, so this is our usual sine function curve. But then the problem is that as you know, this is like sum of zero, which is zero. This is what? This is like three point something. As you know, this will be pi, 3.14, right? But I want to show that on the graph paper. This is how you do it. Right click and go to graphics. Go to x axis and then go to distance. Instead of one, you can select the pi and you see the change right here, or pi over two and it's going to go up by pi over two each every time. If you change this to pi over four, it's going to show you like this, but it won't show you the pi over four, like the numbers right here, okay? So let me just keep it for pi over two, like this. So this is it. And if you would like, of course, you can go to the function right here. I, I don't want to graph sine x, I want to graph sine of two x. What you do is just double click on this and then just insert two right here and that will give you sine of 2x. In that case, make sure you also change your text right here as well. This is now sine of 2x. And once again, by doing the text box right here, you get to move the text box anywhere on the graph paper that you would like. Okay, this is pretty much it, but um, usually we want to see more, of, more periods of the sine curve, right? So usually what I would like to do is, I would like to make this longer horizontally and perhaps make this like a, a shorter, I mean like a, sh yeah, shorter. <laughs> and then let's say the boundary is like a two point something up and down like this. So you see a nice um, sine wave right here. And you can also do a derivative on this, of course. This is function, the name of the function is f of x. So you can just type in f prime of x and it's going to compute the derivative for you derivative of sine 2x, don't forget the chain rule, you get 2 cosine 2x, right? And just show you the graph right here already. Well, maybe you don't want a derivative, then you can just go right here, you can click this off, and you won't show the derivative for that. So let me click on the select button right here. I'm going to choose this, move the name to the upper right corner like this. And then we have it. This is the graph for sine 2x. Let me save the picture. Let me save the GeoGebra file first. So click on file and save. And this is sine 2x. And you should have a folder of all your GeoGebra collection because you know it will be better for you for the long run. Save. And now we'd like to um, go to file and export this to a picture save the picture I just go I'm just going to call this this is sine 2x open my word document and I'm going to insert a photo from file and um, there we have it this is the graph on sine 2x and you can put this on Microsoft Word and you can add your own notes um, you know, right here, and once you're on Microsoft Word, I'll let you do whatever you want from there. This is it.